Welcome to the QuickBooks University. My name is Matt Holtquist. Uh, I wanted to put together this video to help you get started with QuickBooks Online. You know, when you first open up QuickBooks Online or first set up your company, get your subscription, uh, if you have used QuickBooks Desktop in the past, uh, it looks completely different. And so a lot of people get a little bit confused about where things are, how to record things, etc. Okay, so in this video, I want to walk you through a couple of those areas where you're going to find things and uh, show you some of the options that you have. Okay, so when you open QuickBooks Online, you're going to start off with what uh, is called the dashboard. Okay, and you're going to see uh, some summary information. You've got invoices, expenses, profit and loss, and sales. Okay, so under each of these, when you see a drop down menu, you can change the date range and it's going to show you some specific information. Okay. Now, uh, you can do that under expenses. You can do it for profit and loss. Okay. And it's going to show you this information. And it's also going to provide links to various things that, uh, that QuickBooks online is alerting you to review. All right. And then over here, we've got, uh, the bank accounts and the, uh, 25 to review, uh, savings, MasterCard, etc. Okay, so this refers to your bank feed, and these are items that you need to review to accept transactions into uh, QuickBooks Online. All right, and then we've got the same thing with sales down here. You've got a couple of options down here with go to registers, so you can go directly to the checking savings, MasterCard, Visa registers, and you can also connect your accounts to online banking, all right, with the bank feeds. All right, up here, you're going to see resume setup, all right? So when you start off with QuickBooks Online, it does kind of walk you through. Uh, it's almost like an easy, uh, easy start uh, option in QuickBooks Desktop where you, you can go through and customize your invoices, send your invoice, set up payments, okay, see how much you're making, tracking time, adding finishing touches, et cetera. All right. Now, one kind of neat option over here is uh, the privacy option. So you can show the financial information on your dashboard or you can turn it off. OK, so if you really want some privacy, maybe you're in a public place and you don't want everyone walking by to see it, uh, you can turn that on and off. All right. So over here on the left side, you're going to see uh, we've got the dashboard and then we've got uh, banking. Okay, and these are where your uh, bank feeds are and where you can add accounts, update, and uh, match up or categorize these items that have come through on the bank feeds. And then we've got sales. And you'll see every time that you go to sales, expenses, etc., you've got tabs across the top. Uh, and you've also got these highlighted that you can click on. So, for example, if we want to look at uh, unpaid uh, invoices in the last 365 days, we can click on that and it's going to pull up all of these. And straight from here, you can send a reminder, share an invoice link, send the invoice print, etc. Okay. And you've always, uh, almost always got on every screen, uh, some options over here. You can import transactions. Okay or you can do a new transaction, whether it's an invoice payment, et cetera. All right. Over here, we've got expenses. And uh, again, we've got expenses, we've got vendors. And uh, so you can scroll through and look at these various items. And so each one of these, you're going to want to go uh, through and uh, explore this in your own QuickBooks file uh, just to see where information is. We've got the workers tab, employees and contractors, reports, uh, taxes, and then uh, accounting and my accountant. Okay. And under the taxes, you're going to have either payroll taxes or sales taxes or both. All right. Okay. So this is down the left side. Now over here, we've got what's called the quick create menu. And over here, you can do a number of the same items you can do in this left menu. Okay. It's just a different place where you can enter transactions. All right. So again, you can create invoice, receive payment, estimate, etc. All right. 
So let's close that. Now, if we go to the gear icon, you'll notice that you have some other options here. Okay, you've got accountant settings, manage users, where you're going to set up users or invite an accountant, uh, custom form styles, chart of accounts, QuickBooks Labs. All right, you've got your lists, your tools of import information. Uh, you can change your user profile. Uh, you can do your budgeting uh, and even look at the audit log over here. Now, one important piece that you may end up using quite a bit is the accountant settings. This is like preferences in QuickBooks Desktop. Okay, and you're going to see you've got the company information where you can um, adjust uh, different items by clicking on this edit pencil over here. And then you've got sales. Okay, so you can customize. Uh, you see you've got all these different preferences, which we go through in the full QuickBooks University training uh, to show you how to adjust these preferences, these settings, again, for expenses. And then you've got some advanced options here. Okay, so if you want to get out of this, uh, you can just click this X and you can just go straight back to the dashboard and you're at your home screen. All right, so that's a basic navigation of where things are in QuickBooks. So keep in mind, you've got these options down the left. You've got the Quick Create menu, and then you've also got the gear icon with a lot of your settings. And of course, you can always click on the Help and uh, search uh, the online Intuit community and ask various questions. All right, so those are the basics of navigating QuickBooks online uh, in our full QuickBooks Online training tutorials. We walk you through every single aspect of QuickBooks Online and how to use it. Uh, we also update the training uh, pretty much weekly by adding new videos and explaining various items in QuickBooks Online so you can get the fullest uh, extent of training possible. And also, I'm available. I answer one-on-one -on -one specific questions for every one of our members, okay? Because you run into those unique situations where either it's your company or you work for a company and you have to record something and you just can't find an answer, okay? And in that situation, uh, you need to ask questions. So that's what I'm here for as support, one-on-one -on -one support through our forum, our private Facebook page, and email uh, answers. All right. So head on over to the QuickBooks University. That's at qbuniversity.org. And I look forward to seeing you over there.